Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Nobrefugu Studio. We're going to continue with this Coco drawing of the subscribe animation and we're going to get into the coloring phase. So let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm just literally gonna uh, make the colors off of, um, I could have used a drawing that I've done of Coco in the past, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna remake them so these can be this, this can be this sort of official reference. Let's see, I'm gonna make a light blue for our skin. So basically what, basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through and color this whole thing. And then we're, I'm gonna go back and I'm already arriving at some issues. Um, I'm gonna go back and show you guys the different coloring modes that you can use in vectors. There's just oh, so many and it's really, really cool. So I can't wait to get to that part. But I'm just gonna go through and color everything. I'm not using the tablet right now. I'm actually just going to be using the mouse because I um, found myself with a little bit of carpal tunnel, I think. Um, too much drawing lately. So that's a good thing. That means I've been practicing a lot, but uh, also just means I need a little bit of a break. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure all these gaps are closed with using this vector um, tool and then I'm gonna try to fill it in. Oh, that was the problem, there it is. Usually find, you'll usually find um, it within a few tries and then we can fill that, there we go, perfect. And as I go along, as more body parts, parts become revealed, I'm going to change the colors accordingly. So obviously this isn't the right color for her skin, it's more of a grayish color. And sorry if this video has a lot of skips in it, um, a lot of this is just going to be me working. I want you guys to be able to see how I do things in OpenTune, so um, it'll kind of answer some of your guys' questions. So I just feel that like the footage is really valuable, and I want you guys to, to see it all. Um, rather than skip it, I feel like skipping it would be kind of a waste. Right before I switch into time-lapse mode, let me show you guys what we're going to be doing later on in the video when I finish coloring this. Is um, We're going to head to Vector here, and these are all the different kind of coloring modes. These are the line modes that we're going to choose at the very end of our animation to see what, what we liked it to look like. There are some more line modes here, but these sort of um, square looking things are the coloring modes you can choose. And they're really, really cool. So we're gonna explore explore some of those right when I finish coloring this. I'm going to switch into time-lapse mode so I can get done with this really quickly. And um, yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, so I realized that my mic wasn't capturing. That isn't good. Um, so basically what happened here is that I was having trouble filling in these areas, as you guys can see. Um, in some of the video, it just I was clicking and it wouldn't fill in, and it's, it was really frustrating. So I looked up this video. Um, let me see who the video is by, I forgot. I looked up a video by Phil Ray Art. He really helped me out with this. I'm gonna link it in the description because it's gonna help you guys. And basically, you have these things in open tunes when you go to view. If something is a full filled shape and you you know you can fill it like you can see the the closed shape but it won't fill in open tunes and you're clicking it a lot and it's frustrating you got to go to fill check in view and as you can see i fixed this one already um let's go to this one this is a good example this is a closed circle but as you can see i can't i can't fill it which is kind of annoying so what i'm going to do for this one let me just do a little demonstration is that uh it's frame 24 i'm going to select this whole thing i'm going to use rectangular uh, I'm gonna hit Control X to cut it. Go to this raster level I've created. Just create a regular last raster level, and then make sure you can see it. I'm going to paste it. Actually, let me get rid of this other one before I do that. Get rid of this. Delete it because I've already done it before. I, I guess I wasn't my sound wasn't recording. Paste it. 
There you go. And then all we're going to do is take this, take this thing, uh, copy it. I'll oh, see now all the fill. And now you can see that everything is able to be filled in. Sometimes OpenTunes just goofs up when it comes to vector reading. Go back here and we're going to paste it. So now it's converted back to a vector and everything is fillable, which is actually really, really awesome. I think that that tool is so powerful and I'm actually really happy that we have it here in OpenTunes and I'll make sure to turn my mic on when I explain things <laughs> also. So I'm gonna get back to the to the grind. The more I actually go through this, the more I feel I realize I have to talk about. Um, you guys notice I set my background color to a darker color so I can actually see um, the grays, like the light grays coming up. And that's actually really important because I have to be able to tell what colors are present. Now all you gotta do is go to X sheet, scene settings, and then set this, this camera back on color. You can double click, it'll bring up this to black or like a dark gray I recommend if you're using light colors. If you're using dark colors, set it to white or something so you can see them. Just so you know what's, um, what colors are where because sometimes if you're using light colors like I'm using this light gray, I won't be able to tell it against the white. So we just have to make sure um, you're using the right stuff. Also, make sure to name your colors because um, you can use them later on in a color model for the same character. So. Um, I'm going to make sure to name all of these here. I, and, uh, so I, I can keep it organized. If in case I want to change it, I know which colors are what it's going to be a dark gray. It's going to be a shirt. Awesome. I'm going to have to end up using a, a different, a different black. Uh, let's see, like a closer to black because this is dark gray. It's kind of blending in. Um, let's do something like this. There you go. All right, I'm gonna switch back into time lapse mode. Time lapse mode. If I find anything I want to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you. All right, see you then. Okay, so that, that didn't take actually too long, which is awesome. You guys saw that I had to do that fill check thing um, quite a lot. Yeah, I had to keep checking myself. Um, it did add a little bit of time to the process, but never, nevertheless, it was really, really worth it. Um, the final product looks really, really good, um, and I'm actually really happy with it. So now we get to choose our vector and raster settings. Um, if you go to vector, I wonder what happens if we... Oh, so choosing these actually changes a little bit of things. And we can recolor them based on that. Um, oh, actually, my bad. I realized what I did. I changed the actual coloring of the hair. So each color has its own little mode. That's actually kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to go back to this and reset the color of the, her hair. And so each little color has its own sort of mode. So each color has its own um, vector setting you can put on it which is really, really awesome. I forgot, I forgot to fill in this little area right here. Fill that bad boy in. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to color one, which is our lines. We can. I'm gonna put line. That's actually why it's important to name your <laughs> colors. Um, so I'll make sure to do that next time. Go back to line, and then we're gonna play through the animation and see which one we like most.
Oh, this one is nice. It has a sort of um, no lines, and that's actually really helpful for certain types of art styles. Having that no line look, I'm definitely going to have to utilize that because that is super cool. All right, so that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do now, and don't worry about this whole subscribe thing. I'll deal with that later. Um, I'm going to go to hair, and we're going to choose one of these coloring modes. So you can make it kind of like offsetted coloring, which is kind of cool. Make coloring like that. That looks really, really cool. That is actually insane how cool that looks. Um, you can do kind of blob things. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. And you can choose the color of this pixelated sort of thing. So I'm, it's on red right now. Let's go to color and change it to like a dark blue. This is amazing. Wow. So it gives it a little bit of texture. Incredible. Um, yeah, so you have that for each color. That This is why I switched to vectors, because there's just so many powerful tools you can use in order to make your animation unique. And it's just, oh man, look at that. So many things. Gradients, spirals. Yeah, this is this is really cool. I think I'm going to have to go with this pixely one, though, because that's just, that's just incredible. Yeah, so basically, that's all you have to do for coloring. Um, going over the, I'm definitely going to link that fill rate tutorial about the um, filling in vector things because it helped me so much. And I explained it a, a little bit in this video, and I hope you guys got that. But if you don't, then definitely head over to that video. Phil Ray is a really cool guy for doing that. Um, and I think that that video is going to help a lot of you. So thank you guys so much for watching. We just finished this, the coloring of this, and now all that's left is to finish the masking of that subscribe thing and um, if you guys want to see more videos like this definitely leave a comment for me below in the in the comment section because I'm just man I'm really feeling awesome about this vector thing it just looks so cool um, you guys will, will be able to see the full version of this time lapse uh, this whole creation of this subscribe thingy soon um, but for now I'm gonna finish the effects on it and um, I guess that's goodbye I'll see you guys next time peace if you want to check out some of my other projects or have some royalty free music for your own projects head over to Noble Frugal Studios patreon page it is open for business and we are very welcoming I mean I am anyway see you guys next time